when article 12 defines the state it is a fundamental right had it not been against who will you apply that no fundamental rights can be invoked unless you are invoking it against the state that is why it is fallen under part 3 so therefore you cannot discount article 13 which you said is the definition of what not you said act it is not act it is the definition of law law is defined what is law is defined under article 13 and why it is falling under part 3 because it is through law you can invoke these fundamental rights and why 32 is fundamental right any idea to whom can you invoke fundamental rights directly one can move Supreme Court of India don't need to go to law judiciary you can directly move Supreme Court of India under article 32 by invoking the writ jurisdiction extraordinary jurisdiction of the Supreme Court of India if you feel that your fundamental rights are violated you can directly move the highest and apex court of India and this invocation of the highest court of India itself is a fundamental right that is why it is falling under part 3 under article 32 of the constitution of India that seeking enforcement of fundamental right is also a fundamental right the law under which you are seeking it is also a fundamental right under article 13 against whom you are invoking that fundamental right a state is also your fundamental right to invoke and to get it from state and that is why Malu Sariji, these are not discounted that it begins from 14 it begins from 12 had it not been actual and subsidiary is nothing everything is actual it begins from 12 runs up to 35 hmm? fundamental duties ke bare mein suna hmm. kahan hai wo part 4 4a ye abcd kyo lagaya amendment kiya मतलब ओरिजिनल में नहीं था कब आ गया अमेंडमेंट फोर्टी सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट इन द ईयर 1976 ये जो ओरिजिनल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया था उसमें फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज नाम की कोई चैप्टर नहीं था और जब 1976 में फोर्टी सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट के साथ ला दिया गया तो भी फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज आर नॉट एनफोर्सेबल ड्यूटीज दे आर सिंपली कॉस्मेटिक ड्यूटीज कैन यू move Supreme Court of India demanding that allow me to perform my duty are ye petition to dur ki baat sense of duty hai kya pata hai kya duty hai कोई जानकारी है कृष्णा क्या है ड्यूटी आपकी सर्टन फॉलो सर्टन रूल शर्मा जी कहा गए क्या है ड्यूटी 
No idea. Hmm? Bolie? Casting a boat? Uphold the ideology of freedom fighters. And what was that ideology? Democratic What democratic? Freedom fighters. Ablo. Uphold the ideology. Oh, pata nahi kya ideology thi. Wo mat puchh. Yehi ho gayi baat. Jo pata hi nahi uski duty. Kya follow karenge? Marzi ho to karo. Nahi ho to mat karo. ये है हमारा भारत जो गाना बनाता है तो कहता है साडा हक ड्यूटी की कोई बात और ये कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन किसने दिया हमको एनी आइडिया We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and to ensure to its citizens justice, political, economical, liberty, and social, economical and political, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship, equality of status and that of opportunity and to ensure to its citizens fraternity among all, ensuring dignity of individual and unity and integrity of the nation. In this Constituent Assembly on 26th day of November 1949, we hereby adopt, enact, and give to ourselves this Constitution of India. This is the beauty. You are making it and you are giving it to yourself. Ab ye jo cheez aap ne bana di. उसके खिलाफ शिकायत आप ही करते रहते सुना होगा ना कितनी भरत के खिलाफ शिकायतें हैं अरे बेकार है कुछ फायदा नहीं है लॉ में कुछ दम नहीं है मजा नहीं है शिकायतें हैं ना सुना है कि नहीं सुनिए ना लोग बोलते रहते हैं ये भूल जाते हैं कि अगर ये शिकायतें हैं तो इसके जिम्मेदार कौन है जिसने बना दिया और आप ही ने बना दिया और जिस जो कुछ बना दिया उसमें ये अधिकार भी दिया है कि अगर कुछ गड़बड़ लग रहा है तो रिपेयर कर दो अमेंड करने का पावर है ना यू कैन अमेंड इट that authority, that power is also given in that very constitution. So instead of repairing it, what's the point in having grievances and complaints of something which you yourself created? You proudly proclaim, we the people gave to ourselves. And then we say, Baad ganda bana hai yaar, pekar ek dam. To dosh kis ko de rahe hai? Khud ko ek. And to let things into perspective, let me tell you, having read multiple constitutions of the world with full responsibility, let me inform you what dignity, esteem, and honor. And he can get justice. Do you know, since independence till now, whatever biggest scams this country has faced are exposed by one or the other single man. Is a single scam being exposed by some kind of huge conglomeration of people? Then name one. No, because they are busy demanding their rights. Only. It is some citizen who felt responsible that this nation is facing this scam, something wrong is happening. He stood up, went to Supreme Court, filed a petition under Article 32, and lo and behold, the scam is out. And the moment it is out in the open, all the political parties will jump into the frame seeking credit for it. And blaming the one who did that.
Why I'm bringing this in? Feel empowered. Feel that the power inside you that if something is wrong, I alone am empowered to correct it. I will not have grievances alone. I will not keep crying. I will not have only complaints. I will not have blaming points that I keep blaming this one, that one, here, there. I am the one who will correct it. Because you can do it. And you can do it simply by invoking the powers given in the Constitution. What you need is the knowledge. It's what Lord Bacon has said, knowledge is power. Knowledge makes you fearless. In part three, fundamental rights, everybody has. Because we are, as a nation, concerned with only our rights. We take out processions on the road. We do chakka jam. We burn effigies. Demanding our rights. Nobody ever. <coughs> have you ever heard. Is proclaiming that these are our duties. And the beauty is. That without having a corresponding sense of duty. Only with the rights, this nation goes on. It's going on. Despite having exclusive rights, despite having the running wheel of democracy, with absolute privileges enjoyed by every citizen, we still have grievances. We are still not happy. So, kabhi kabhi, ye sochna zaruri hai. Ki kya hum un बिगड़े बच्चों की तरह बिहेव नहीं कर रहे जिसको पेरेंट्स सब कुछ दे रहे फिर भी वो मचल ले जा रहा है उसकी सारी इच्छाएं पूरी हो रही हैं फिर भी वो कुछ ना कुछ रोने पीटने का इंतजाम कर रहा है आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑल दिस विद अ डेलिबरेट डिजाइन एंड अ मोटिव दैट एज अ फ्यूचर सोल्जर्स ऑफ लॉ yourself off from this majority who has only grievances. Stand up as soldiers of the law. Stand up as the masters of the constitution state that no, this is not right. If anything is bothering you, there is constitutional method to repair it. And that method is also provided by the constitution. There is no way that you start burning effigies, do chakka jam, create nuisance in the society, do hartals. Do you know these methods were used by freedom fighters to create a logjam in the British governance, not against our own governance. We are the ones who are sending representatives to govern us and then we are doing effigies. We are doing chakra. What do we need? These methods were applicable, justified then. Not now. And therefore, all this insight I am giving you that Change your perspective. Stand up and say that, don't do this. <coughs> if you really have something bothering you, the method should be, and the remedy should be, 
as provided by this very constitution which we created. As I just said that one single citizen alone, you don't even need an association, you don't even know, need a political party to support you. One citizen alone 